uh, the first film I ever did was uh, a film called uh, Wonderland, directed by Michael Winterbottom. And that was a very documentary approach. And he specifically gave me that job because of my documentary background. And um, for a number of years after that, that's the only film that I was being offered. And I turned them all down specifically because I did not want to be known as that handheld cameraman who does, you know, sort of gritty um, urban dramas. So consciously I've tried on every film um, to do something different, to grow as a cinematographer, but specifically to, to answer the demands of the script and the director. Byzantium um, was, was a fantastic experience um, because you know, Neil Jordan was always one of my heroes and to get a phone call from him and for him to ask me to make a film with him was, you know, I, I, I literally I had to sit down, my heart was pounding and I was like, oh, you know, the possibility of that ever happening, uh, you know, it, it, it was impossible. Um, but it happened very quickly. Uh, the money was there, we had a very short pre-production period, and so it was very intense. And, and Neil and myself just sat down and went through the script and talked about it. And, you know, it, it, it basically, it's really a love story. And that was sort of the, the, the real approach. The, the vampire elements of it um, are, are, well, they're not peripheral, they're integral. But at the same time, it, it, you know, it, 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 Neil wanted it to feel real. And um, so we were looking at, you know, very real locations, very gritty locations. You know, it's, it's quite a dark tale, um, but, but still wanted to have romantic elements. Um, otherwise, it, 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 you know, there, there's no point in watching it. It's just another vampire film. Um, but it also it had a unique, a unique approach to vampirism. I mean, it's not fangs. Um, and, and the like. Um, so it, it was quite challenging. And there were also flashbacks and, and trying to, to get the, the look of the flashbacks so that they, they still had a, a sense of reality to them. Um, and then there are some rather magical elements to the flashback as well. So it was trying to, to merge all those things together um, into something that was still entertainment and was still primarily a love story, but still had certain classic elements. Of, of the vampire film. You know, from, from the first day I read the script of, of The Place Beyond the Pines, um, that opening sequence was in my mind always one shot. And when I first met Derek Sean Francis, the director, and we started discussing the script, he absolutely agreed. Um, and to me, the culmination of all of that shot was to be inside the, the, the cage of death. And there was a clue there that I didn't listen to very closely. Um, inside the cage itself with the motorcycles. Because I thought, I've never seen that before. And if you've got a buildup of that length, you want to pay off to, to it all. That is something unique. And so that's what we designed the shot to do. Well, I think every film is a summing up. Um, you know, you, you learn something more on each film you do, or at least I hope you do. I mean, I try to. Um, and try to bring that, whatever that is, onto the next film, and then onto the next film. You know, um, I'm, I'm very pleased and excited with the reception that 12 Years a Slave is getting. Um, but at the same time, this isn't the peak of my career. You know, it's another film. Um, you don't set out, or at least uh, myself and Steve never set out to make a film to win a lot of awards. We set out to make the best film we possibly could. Um, we're, and I know speaking to Steve, uh, we're both very touched um, and pleased and excited at the reception that the film is getting. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's a film. I am so pleased that this festival exists. Um, there is no other place or time in the world where cinematographers get together in the way they do. We tend to lead a very a disjointed and singular lives. You know, I've, I'll go off for a film, I'll be away for you know, four or six months, 
I won't see any other cinematographers because I'm the only cinematographer on the set. Um, and you can do that for years on end without bumping into other cinematographers. But here you can come for a week, you can guarantee that you're going to bump into some cinematographers. And it's important in any, any sort of job you have to meet with your peers and talk with them. Um, particularly something like this, you can feel very isolated. And it's, it's actually, it's great to talk to other people to realize that, you know, the pressures, the problems, the, the things that you're going through on every production, you're not the only one. You know, there are these universal issues. Um, but to you get a chance to sit down and talk to other cinematographers, you, you don't know that they're universal. Um, and it's also this interface here between students and, and cinematographers is, it gives the place such a life. Mm -hmm.